Look to your covenant, O Lord, and forget not the life of your poor ones forever. Arise, O God, and defend your cause, and forget not the cries of those who seek you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We are Father's Mass for Sisters Angela and Thelma, who celebrate their birthday. We pray that the good Lord will continue to guide, shield, and protect them. And this Mass is offered by Maria and Christopher. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our heart the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Reading from the prophet Hosea. <clears throat> Thus says the Lord, they have set up kings, but not with my consent, and appointed princes, but without my knowledge. Out of their own silver and gold they have made idols, which are doomed to destruction. I spurn your calf, Samaria. My anger blazes against it. How long will it be before they purge themselves of this, the sons of Israel? A workman made this thing. This cannot be God. Yes, the calf of Samaria shall go up in flames. They sow the wind. They will reap the whirlwind. Their wheat will yield no ear, the ear will yield no flower. Or if it does, foreigners will swallow it. Ephraim has built an altar after altar. They have only served him as an occasion for sin. Were I to write out the thousand precepts of my law for him, they would be paid no more attention than those of a stranger. They love sacrificing? Right, let them sacrifice. They love meat? Right, let them eat it. The Lord takes no pleasure in these. He is now going to remember their iniquity and punish their sins. And they will have to go back to Egypt. This is the word of the Lord. And in response, sons of Israel trust in the Lord. Sons of Israel trust in the Lord. Our God, He is in the heavens, He does whatever He wills. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of human hands. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have ears and eyes, but they cannot see. Their ears cannot hear. They have nostrils, but they cannot smell. 
Sons of Israel trust in the Lord. With their hands they cannot feel, with their feet they cannot walk. Their makers will be like them, so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel trust in the Lord. Sons of Israel trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Sons of Aaron trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. <coughs> Sons of Israel trust in the Lord. And we greet the gospel. Hallelujah. Christ, enlighten the eyes of our mind, so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A man was brought to Jesus, a dumb demoniac. And when the devil was cast out, the dumb man spoke, and the people were amazed. Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel, they said. But the Pharisees said, it is through the prince of devils that he cast out devils. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing all kinds of diseases and sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them, because they were harassed and dejected, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is rich but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Beloved Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Amen. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. Dear parishioners of St. Michael's, Trust in the Lord. You who will join us online, trust in the Lord. Because He is merciful, He is compassionate, He is caring, and He is forgiven. Hence, let us trust in the Lord. In today's gospel, a dumb demoniac is brought before Jesus. This man would have been suffering, going through a lot of troubles. This man wouldn't have been allowed to do the very things that he would like to do, controlled by something else, not able to worship God as he would like, not able to help people as he would like. But as he's brought to Jesus, Jesus cast out the dumb, the demon in him so that he's set free, so that he's able to do the things that he can do. As Jesus does this, some of the Pharisees, the scribes, are jealous that he has gotten the power to free this man to go about his normal and daily activities. And now they attribute that healing to the devil. But Jesus does not take notice of this. In the Gospel of Matthew, we hear that it says, And Jesus made a tour to the surrounding towns and villages, teaching in their synagogue. He did not even have time to be exchanging words with them. In the other Gospel, we see that Jesus would say, If I cast out demons, who do your people? But Matthew, for Matthew... Jesus goes on doing the work that God has sent him. He does not take notice 
of all those jealousies, of all those envy, he keeps doing the will of the Father. And beloved in Christ, this is the point I want us to reflect on. And when we move further, he said, when Jesus saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them because they were harassed and dejected. Dear brothers and sisters, again, we find ourselves in this world or we see people being abandoned, harassed, dejected, getting depressed, going through anxiety, stress, and all kinds. The, the way of Jesus might probably be our way as well. When Jesus saw these people, he felt sorry for them. He felt compassion for them. He didn't like their stage of being. And so Jesus was moved to do something. How do we act in our own lives? For Jesus, all of us, whenever he sees us, whenever we're present before him, he sees all that we're going through and he's moved to do something in our life. And we are the hands and feet of Jesus in our world today. Are we also moved with compassion? For those who are dejected, for those who are stressed, for those who are going through trial moments. Are we able to offer some words to strengthen them? Are we able to offer a hand of help? Are we able to probably direct them to places that they can gain help? It is not that just a feeling of compassion or sorry for people but it's about doing something. Today, let us all think about ways and means for which we can come to the aid of those who are suffering, of those who feel rejected and dejected, of those who feel not recognized, that through us, God will touch them and give them the wholeness and the strength, the grace they need. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. Let us now stand and pray that as we put our trust in the Lord, his compassion will be upon us. In thanksgiving to God for the gift of life, for the gift of today and for his word, and for the life that he has given sisters Angela and Thelma, that he will continue to strengthen them and grant them hope in their lives. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all who feel harassed, dejected, and abandoned in our society, that through us, they may find welcoming, they may find themselves welcomed, they may feel the touch of Christ, and they may feel the touch of his people. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for all those who are going through some mental issues and problems. We pray for all those going through emotional problems, spiritual problems that the mercy, the compassion of God will come upon them to set them free. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the grace that we may continue to do the good the Lord has given to us, the good the Lord has called us to do in spite of the difficulties, the challenges, and the, the jealousy we face in life. Lord, in your mercy, for the dead, that the Lord will be merciful to their souls and grant them eternal rest. Lord, in your mercy, and for ourselves, let us pray that the Lord will be merciful to us. Let us pray that the Lord will strengthen our faith and trust in him. Let us pray for our own special needs and intentions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Gracious and merciful God, you who have compassion and feel sorry for our state of life, stretch forth your hand to touch us and bring us total recovery, freedom, and grace to trust you. This and many other intentions we ask through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to Almighty God the Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness he created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy he redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions are dull and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voice as we pray join with ears in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending thou your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which should be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With trust in the providence of God, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with a bow, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
The bread that I will give, says the Lord, is my flesh for the life of the world.
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. And have a blessed day. Bible study is at 7 to 8. Those who are interested, you are most welcome. Peace to the Lord.